Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, The Merrill Week Diaries. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a link tree type link without using link tree itself or having to pay the link tree premium. So we're going to make our own using Canva and you'll be able to link it to your social media account and your followers will be able to get to the uh, related links that you want them to see. So right now I just have a bit ly link here that takes you to the home page of my website and you pretty much have to click, you know, on each individual subject to navigate your way around, but all this is is the home page. So I want my followers to be able to get to my blog if they just want the blog or the freebies or, you know, an online course or whatever it is that they want. So the way we're going to do that is you're going to go to your website. Mine is Weebly. This will work with any website. And you want to go to your pages. And as you can see over here, here are all the pages in my site. Not all of them are live, but um, you're going to just add a page, standard page. And I'm just going to entitle this page Web Links. You can entitle it Quick Links, whatever you want. I already have a Quick Links page behind here, but I didn't like the way the design was, so I'm redoing it. And I'm just going to, I'm going to have a header, so you don't have to have one if you're a uh, website builder has the functionality for no header or whatever or just a splash of color uh, but for this tutorial i'm just going to go ahead and add a header to mine so i'm just going to click on this and i'm going to replace it with an image of my own and i'm just going to upload it from my computer okay so this is my header and I'm going to click on save. Okay, and we're gonna come back to this later. So the next thing you want to do is be in your Canva account or log into your Canva account because that's where we're gonna create it. And I'm going to click on create a design. And I am just going to use a Facebook cover. Okay, so this isn't too big. You can see the size here. Um, and you'll be able to play around with whatever type of design you want to do. But for me, I am just going to use an element and I'm going to select a square and I'm going to resize this square it's not going to be too big okay kind of like so okay and i am going to change the color and the transparency of it I duplicated it okay so I am going to change the color here just going to stick with my brand colors and I'm going to change the transparency to about 86 okay 85 will do and then I'm going to add some text and I'm just going to stick with my brand font. And this is going to be entitled freebies because that is one of the categories on my site. And I and I'm just going to resize it using the handle tool. You can also resize it by using the numbers next to the font. And then I'm going to change the color of it to white.
is my first link. Next, I am going to copy the page and add my next link that I want. Just going to type in blog. Actually, I'm going to change the title of this to Biz Building Blog because I have two other blogs. One is a mom blog and one is an Abuelita Diaries blog, which is just my grandparents blog. So I want to be able to differentiate as I promote, you know, my blog posts on social media. So I'm going to entitle them Mommy Musings Blog, Biz Building Blog, and Abuelita Diaries blog. And so you just copy each page and change the heading as you go. And I'm going to copy and put ebooks. So I'm going to add online courses. What else do I have? Uh, I don't know if I want to add publishing. I think, mm, I think I may. So I am going to add publishing and then a link to the store itself. And that should enough so now I'm going to download these as a png and it's they're going to download in a zip file because there are more than one one page and i'm going to download them with a transparent background once they have finished downloading you will need to extract them from your zip folder so that you will be able to upload them one by one into your web links page. Okay, so I can see that they did download with a transparent background. So the next thing we're going to do is go back to your website builder and you are going to drag the elements here. Mine are going to be going to be in build and I'm going to drag an image here and this is going to be replaced by the photo that we just downloaded. They're in a folder, they're in this folder. So I'm gonna select freebies first. And I am going to then add a link to my freebies page. So this means that I need to be in my live site so that I can get the entire link I'm just going to copy it and then go back to my behind the scenes page and add the link to that. Okay. All right. And then I can exit out of this and I am going to then add another image right below this. I'm going to upload the second link, Biz Building Blog. 
click on it add the link to the website URL I'm gonna grab it from the live site copy it go back to your site behind the scenes and paste it and I'm going to resize it a little and the rest of this I'm going to speed up for you guys so I'm just doing the same thing over and over again I'm uploading the the link that we created I'm going to the live site copying the link adding it to the image and doing that over and over again until they're all done okay <clears throat> so now I am going to publish this And I'm going to go to my live site and hit refresh. And I am going to copy the web links URL. And I am going to put it in bitly because I like using the shortened form of the main link instead of the long version. So so just go to the bit.ly URL shortener and paste it in here. Get the shortened link. I'm gonna select copy. And then I am going to go back to my behind the scenes site because I don't want the web links to be part of my main navigation. So you go back to your pages and you hide it in your navigation. Just right here so I'm just going to click on hide in navigation and then I am going to publish it once again going to go back to my live site and hit refresh just to make sure that the web links disappears okay so now we are going to go back to Instagram and click on edit profile and we're going to paste the link that we just copied from bitly right here and click on submit or save okay and then we are going to go to Back to the main page, click on the link. It brings us to the live links now. And if we click on any of these, it should take us to the link that we just saved. The Biz Building Blog. And we get that. And ebooks okay guys and that's how you create a free link tree I'm doing the air quotes without using link tree itself you can also um, I want to go back to Instagram so as you can see how my links are kind of spaced out you can use a different um, 
measurement instead of like the Facebook banner. If you want something that, you know, is less space, you can choose different dimensions. But that, my friend, is how you create a free link tree. So if this video was helpful to you, uh, leave me a comment, like the video, and don't forget to subscribe for more tech tutorials slash Canva tutorials. I love Canva because of its functionality and I'm always doing things in it. So turn your notifications on so that you don't miss any new videos. Until next time, this is Meryl Wee.